still exciting. Yeah. Such a good boy. Yeah, you're such a good boy. Look at the fish. Look at the cool fish. Let's go see if there's snow. Let's see if there's snow. Oh no, it's melted. There was a little bit of snow last night. Me and him are the only two that really love snow. Yeah. There's no snow. <laughs> He's such a cute puppy. He's such a cute puppy. So in our backyard we have a little bit more snow but last year it was like covered in snow like thick layers of snow the cutest is puppy mm -hmm. oh and he's blue because he ate a pen he didn't explain that last time I have a person. yeah I'm not gonna take it. I'm not gonna take it. It's yours. What's that? Oh, it was me around. Oh, he's so cute though. There's still no snow. This might be a bit random. I haven't really filmed much today. My pelvic pain and my back pain has been so sore. So I decided to put on my very cute like gym outfit and I'm gonna try and do some exercises that are supposed to help for pelvic pain. But if you have pelvic pain, then you know the more like the more you move the more it hurts so the exercises help for the pain but they're also extremely painful to do so I'm gonna see how far I can go
Okay, so I just quickly wanted to just obviously I've shown like the endo belly before. It's a lot better now after the exercise. Maybe in certain clips you can see it more depending on how I move my body. Like if I push my hips out and pull in, you can see it's a lot better, but it's quite painful. Um, it's obviously a lot on my left side, you can see there. But what I really like about these gym clothes, they kind of like hold me in and I feel secure when I'm doing my workout. No matter what, it doesn't feel like it's digging into my stomach um, or anything like that. So I think I still have a valid discount code if any of you want to try it. I like the long sleeve one. Sometimes I even really love having these little sleeves. Um, and yeah, I love having, like I said, the high waisted ones. Sorry, I've never noticed. But yeah, it's doing a lot better after that exercise. I'm still feeling it quite a bit since the needles down my legs. But was good. Um, I try and do these type of stretches often as I can or as much as I can bear it. Just because, yeah, it really does hurt and really does get quite bad sometimes. So, um... Yeah, I really try and do these stretches as much as I can, um, as best as I can, because they do still really hurt certain exercises. Through that, I um, was a bit trying and even like crying, like I, sh I tend to like just cry throughout a workout. Um, because I know in the long run it's better if I complete it, for my body to stretch and move and go through the process. Um, but it does not make it easy. Um, at all. I might want to go for a walk tonight. Um, walking isn't the best for the pelvic pain. Um, like it can tend to put a lot of pressure on your like hips and everything. So it just depends on how I'm feeling. But moving and stretching and getting out there. <laughs> See there it goes. <laughs> moving and stretching just really tends to help. And because I have a concave spine, um, like me trying to keep it straight, even like it, it just it puts a lot of pressure on and it's quite sore. So with the bloat pulling me forward and my spine being concave, it's not always fun. But I'm glad I did the exercise. I'm glad I got through it. Um, and if anything, if that's all I accomplished today, I'm proud of myself. Um... Oh my gosh, um, yeah, endo is a really hard thing to live with and I feel like especially during the holiday time, it's also very emotional as well as physical and there's um, a lot that goes through your mind and a lot that affects the, sorry, I know the lighting isn't really bad, I keep the light dim because my head is pounding as well. I literally just have my pretty Christmas tree lights. Um, but yeah, it gets to be a very emotional time with your body. Um, and it's hard to explain, it's hard to pinpoint. Um, and for me, just this holiday holds a lot of extra emotion, I guess, this year. My family is far away, um, so I miss them, which is a lot. Um, and then the pain and the future issues that it entails with and things and I've always been someone that wants to be a mom so then it starts to feel like will I ever be there will I ever be on the other side um I don't know some of you that go through it 
um, I don't understand the term empty arms. Um, so yeah, this it doesn't quite feel Christmassy today. I'm feeling a lot of emotions. So I'm sorry this isn't a very vlogmasy vlogmas day. It's like an emotional breakdown. But I don't know, maybe I'll just take a hot shower or uh, hijack someone's bath. We don't have a bath. And I'll, I feel like with Endo, like, find a, like, when we search for a house, I'm definitely looking for a house with a bath. Because not only does the hot water help, but just in a mental state, just lying in a bath, crying, just bubble bath, candlelight, it's just therapeutic. But anyways, I know this lighting has been terrible to watch, and me crying has been probably terrible to listen to. But this is our everyday life, and since we're daily vlogging, this isn't usually a day that I would share. I feel like my voice is gonna crack every every second word. Um but I know this isn't something that I usually share a lot of but we're daily vlogging so welcome to my day. Yes. Okay, so taking a few deep breaths, I guess. Um, yeah, it's just been a bit of a rough day um, for me. And Tayan had a hard day at work. He just came home. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna, I think, have some dinner with family, and then we might go see. Um, a friend or go for a walk or something um, so just in case we don't pick up the camera again and just in case we're just not filming anything else I just wanted to say good night and thank you for sticking around the even not so good days sometimes it's very easy to film when it's all fun and um, happy-go-lucky, but it's really hard to share the hard days sometimes. Um, I don't want to cry so again because I like just pulled myself together. <laughs> but it's not easy sharing that vulnerable side. Um, and I know with Endo, I've gotten very emotional in the past, and it's just like. This holiday holds a lot of emotion this year. I mean, we're still in the state of the world um, where we didn't think we would be. So it's just, I think it's a lot for everyone. It doesn't quite feel like Christmas. So, yeah. <clears throat> there, I almost go again. Yeah, it's, it's, it is what it is, I guess. <laughs> so, thank you for sticking around for the good and the bad and just following along this journey. And even though this is not something that we would usually share or that I would usually share, I know it's not an easy holiday for a lot of people. So, hopefully this makes you feel a little less alone.